Hello, my wonderful people. Now we, the Nation Voice. And I want you this moment to really welcome you all to our news desk this very hour. And in case you join the journal for the first time, I've been on the first time when they watch us for this channel be this, I say you are highly welcome. I bet do me a favor now. You see that red subscribe button? Hit them. And the small bell with the press them as well so that anytime we take upload new video again, you will be the first person to watch. And I pray the same way when you visit the supporters of this channel. The same way when God will the same people when will they support you for everything when it's good when you put your hands to do. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And with that, we not waste any of your time again. May we go straight to the news when we get today. All right, my people. I just want you to watch this video. When it be say, Senator Abdullahi Adamu, they challenge Senator Abba Ribe when he take tell President Muhammad Dubuhari say as long as he not manage the country well, he suppose make him by himself resign. So watch this video and you will see the challenge. I will come back for the conclusion. You have told us <laughs> that on this solemn day that we are discussing this matter that we may not at any point be partisan. And I want to tell you, Mr. President, if you didn't insist that we will not be partisan, I would have called out the presidential spokesman, Femi Adeshino, who, when the Khan leaders complained about the killing of a priest, he turned around and said that the Khan was acting like a political party. Now that we are talking about it here, let me hear him say that all of us are acting like a political party. When somebody is complaining about these incessant deaths in this country. Mr. President, because we have to get to the root of this matter, I can only say one thing. Those who live by propaganda will die by propaganda. Mr. President, we are very serious here. This is a matter of life and death. And I was building up to something. And I will take, say what I was building up to very simply. Boko Haram has been defeated. Nigeria is now safer. Everything was being done to make sure that the hard work that was supposed to be done in securing Nigeria was not done because certain people did not do their work and preferred to cover the eyes of Nigerians with propaganda. That's why I said that at the beginning. But let me go on, Mr. President, to say this. All the time that we wasted in Nigeria trying to find all these excuses for non-performance has now come to stare us in the face. Reality, reality is no respecter of persons. And it is the reality that we are facing now. Senator Sani Musa shouting every day that his people were being killed in Niger. We just took one from Joss, uh, a, a student who was murdered by a Boko Haram person in view of, view of everybody with a pistol. And the Boko Haram person was somebody that was more, uh, uh, almost, he's not up to nine years or ten years old. And we are told that they have been defeated. Now, to go to the fact of what do we do. Mr. President, we have heard from the newspapers today where you have said and suggested and there uh, Quoting you to say, oh, well, we we're going to call the IG. We are going to talk about the community policing. We are going on that way. Mr. President, Nigeria did not elect the IG. We did not elect the chief of staff. We did not elect the joint chiefs. We did not elect the national security advisor. We elected the government of APC in 2015 and re-elected re them in 2019. The reason why we re-elected them was that they continued to tell us that because they had the key to security, 
And the whole Nigeria voted them in in 2015, and I agree with that. And I'm saying, Mr. President, when you want to deal with a matter, you go to the head. So we will go to the government and ask this government to resign because they can no longer do anything in this country. Mr. Minority Leader, I know, I know, I know. Okay. Please. Minority leader. Let let me let me remind you once again that Nigerians voted for APC in 2015. And because they saw improvement in their lives, they voted APC again in 2019. I don't want us to be partisan, and I will advise against her speech in this chamber. <laughs> Mr. President, in conclusion, Mr. President, in conclusion, in conclusion, Mr. President, Mr. President, I need your attention. Mr. President, in conclusion, yes, Nigerians voted a government into power. And that government even said, if we don't perform, stone us. We are going with the stones to stone them now because they are no longer... I think the timekeeper, the timekeeper, the timekeeper, the minority leader, minority leader, the Sungish colleagues, the Sungish colleagues, the situation in this country is such a serious situation that our debate should be tailored towards ensuring that we are able to get solutions. Opening salvo by the minority leader, where he landed, he landed, he crashed land by saying he is going, they on that side of the aisle are going with stones. Stone, in the spirit in which he made that contribution, is a weapon. We do not want to sit here as elder statesmen and add more uh, uh, add injury, I mean insult to injury. It is not within our duty to do so. And I would have wished the Peter President not only telling the minority leader that he's used his time allotted for this discussion, but I shall have called him to withdraw those statements that he made. As a respect, as a respect, as a respect, as a respect, a recognition, and that he is a man of honor to stand by the oath of office he took. Yes, we can criticize government. Even somebody within the ruling party can criticize government, whether it's necessary for doing so. We are mature enough to, to know that and to accept that. But when people become negative and extraordinarily partisan and say we should not be partisan in our discussion, after throwing his elbows, he said, you should, you, should, you should throw none at them. I do appreciate, Mr. President. I do know that this Senate has had occasions, has had occasions to, to, to summon a, a, a security retreat. I have no objection whatsoever that the intention of this motion to get us to discuss in full the implication of what we are in and how best we get out of it so that we can at the end of the day make submissions to the executive to take decent actions for this. But for us to sit and talk as if 
nothing is happening. As if the government is doing nothing. Does not help the situation we are in. I believe that if government agencies have not been able to get us to the promised land, we should try to go into the, the nitty gritties of what is their problem. How do we help to resolve those problems as parliament? Instead of just outright condemnation and seeing nothing good and throwing or wanting to throw a baby with the dirty water. I believe that the, 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 the debate is well founded, the motion is well founded, I support it, and uh, I do want to appeal to our very dear colleagues that we restrict ourselves to what will help the nation and not what will divide the nation. Say this one is an appeal. This is the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. People are losing their lives. Nobody is happy. No matter what, we are going to debate this motion. Because it's our responsibility. We owe Nigerians to discuss this debate, it come up with the solutions. So please, distinguished colleagues, we may have different platforms, but we should remember that what we are discussing is Nigeria. The minority leader had made his contribution. Now, I will advise that please, let us not go partisan. All right, my people, I believe, say, you all don't watch this video. The reason why I bring this video come back again, you know, pass BC, this man, Senator Abdullahi, the manner of which he challenged this man, and the word when he be say in use. If you watch very well, the reason why he be say APC won't structure their member to make sure say the day for the governorship uh, candidate, for the senator, uh, senatorial candidate, for the uh, uh, representative candidate. Now the reason just be this one. So that anytime we be say that they do whatsoever they want to do, nobody will challenge them. And if you see the statement where this man made, he said, this very senator Abaribi say when he take talk say APC say if they not perform well say for their own campaign say made uh, the masses made the carries to make the stone there now he remembrance now this man they remember them their promise and this one I have the audacity to tell us say he crash land for him to make that statement not be saying he crashed land already, uh, not be, be the matter now. Say the spirit of which he made that statement, say that stone, now weapon. He forget the life of people when he be saying they lost on daily basis. He capitalize on the, the, the manner. You just watch this statement. Say the manner of which Senator Abaribe, they make that statement. Remember APC of their promise during their campaign. Say, Na na weapon. Oh, weapon compared to the life of citizens where they where they die day by day for their own recruited Boko Haram and bandi bandits. Eh? The man now where person they speak out, if they horrible pass the life, life, life compared to this very life of this very senator, so we don't know himself so. So, my people, the reason why we they talk all this thing not pass, we say, if you watch very well, see, these people, no repentance for them. And they no feel, they no get this mind to say, now something they happen. War, if you, if we they think, say, and make we wait, make these people until war start. War don't start for our country, Nigeria, Tete. War don't start. You get another video when I will try to review to now because I need where are they now? I know they're much convenient. I will try as much as possible to review this war for a woman when encounter Boko Haram life and direct when he survived. She come out to come and give the testimony of what did they happen for Nigeria when we nothing say it they happen. I will make that video make you see. Say the state when that nation day no be state to repair. Now we will be south, south, south east, south west. Now we, they think, say, nothing they happen because we never experience something deep. 
All those things where we be say with the see, with our eye, they see the people when they be say that they execute those one at the periphery. Now, just the top, top one, the little, little one, we be say it not really means something. If you see the details of what did happen, the people we encounter this very thing when they come out with testimony, you all will know say you don't think when we don't the inside war. These people they don't recruit their own members, they don't trade their own army, they don't set and they just they wait for a little thing to happen so that they will break out a fool. So now just the conclusion just be that one. I just want to review this video to now make all of us, the youth, Southeast youth, Southwest youth, South South youth, make una, this will not be the time for us to say na the, na 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 Biafra on, na na Ododua on, na Edo on. No. If you go by this might, eh, these people, eh, as if they will dominate all to the full net. And if we bring our minds together to say, go to consign the south, consign the east, go to consign the east, consign the other door, then now only we will get victory. Because why? Why I talk like that, not pass busy. If you see the thought of places, now these people, they in charge. The weapon, when that nation gets, now these people, they in charge. All the military ranking, now then they in charge. So there is no way when you would call the talk say may Biafra go fight first then only may all the, no. The reason why they position themselves in that position in those places now for this purpose. So may all all of us wake up to this and come to one mindset. Now only where Nigeria. Oh, I'm no sorry for us to get victory from Nigeria from that bond for that amalgamation bond. All right, my people, I would like to hang this very moment now to really greet and salute every one of you now. We'll be with us out of this moment. I want to really appreciate you now. God will continue to bless you now. I beg, share this video, like, and um, your comment to call, very important. Leave and for us for the comment section. Until I see you again when I see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.